I've said this many, many times when it comes to actually protecting women's spaces, whether it's actually in sports, because we've done many videos over on the sports channel about men going over into women's sports, identifying as women and dominating the competition. I mean, 15 years ago, man, you would have never seen that. And now even beauty pageants are actually being won by men. It's actually happening. I mean, this story that we're going to be talking about today, man, it affects the Miss Universe pageant. Now, of course, you guys know all of these beauty pageants actually select someone to actually participate in a Miss Universe. So they're actually going to win, the, win their own country like um, Miss USA, Miss uh, Netherlands, or in this case, Miss Portugal. Because now, guys, Miss Portugal is now has now been won by a male. Yeah, this sums up, you know, 2023, everything post George Floyd, wokeness on steroids. This sums it all up. Women can't even win beauty pageants anymore. Now, I don't know if you guys have actually um, heard about this other story, too. I'm trying to remember which country this was. It's somewhere in Africa where the population of um, this one African country is like 98 percent black. But a white woman actually won the title of uh, Miss. It's not Kenya. I don't believe. Man, I just can't remember it off the top of my head. But anyway, the Wolts exposed their racism because they were freaking out that this white woman actually won. But still, she was a citizen of that country. She had every right to win. And she was actually a woman. But in this case here. This is a male. A male. Has now won. Miss Portugal. Look at this on our kick. Biological male. Marina Machete. Crown Miss Portugal. And the thing is. The reason why all of this is actually happening is because the women put up with this. They put up with it. Women, you're going to have to be at the forefront to stop all of this. Or you guys, you guys are going to get wiped out everywhere. And we got a clip here, too, because all these women actually are surrounding this person and are clapping. Look at this here. On our kick, it says it's official. The most beautiful woman in Portugal is actually a man. Marina Machete was crowned Miss Portugal Friday night, securing the honor as the first transgender woman to win the title. Quote, proud to be the first trans woman to compete for the title of Miss Universe Portugal. Machete wrote on Instagram before winning the title for years. It was not possible for me to participate. And today I am proud to be part of this incredible group of finalists. Machete, a 28 year old flight attendant, will represent Portugal in the Miss Universe pageant in El Salvador on November 18th. And now this is the clip here of these women actually congratulating Machete. Check this out. Yeah. So you're seeing that right there, man. You're seeing that. Women, what are you going to do? Because if you don't start speaking up against this and we have seen what happens when um, women fight back. The woke mob goes after him. I mean, Riley Gaines has been attacked on these woke college campuses for speaking out against stuff like this, you know, especially when it comes to women's sports. And this is a competition. It's not a sport in the traditional sense, but still. I mean, these contests were designed for women. This was actually supposed to empower women. But women seem to have dropped the ball on this. And now you have 
men, women, female beauty pageant contest. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It gets worse here. Look at this. And Marina Machete won't be the only man fighting for the Miss Universe crown. Machete will share the stage with Ricky Valerie Cole. I don't know how you pronounce that. Who took home the Miss Netherlands 2023 title in July is growing, guys. Shattering the hopes of all the actual women competing for the title. I mean, wow. Wow. And this is what this person said, quote, it's unreal, but I get to call myself Miss Netherland 2023. It was an educational and beautiful journey. My year can't be broken anymore. I'm so proud and happy. I can't even describe it. Making my community proud and showing it can be done. Cole wrote on Instagram. And this is a picture of both of these biological males right here. They're actually going to be competing for Miss Universe. I mean, they're making a mockery of the Miss Universe competition. All of these beauty pageants, they are mocking this thing. I mean, this is just unreal. I remember back in the 80s, man, when our beauty pageants, you know, actually were more of a real thing. You would have never seen this. You would have never seen this. Oh, this reminds me too. Our kick actually points this up out right here. Check this out. So now it's on to the Miss Universe pageant owned by Anne Jackafong. And I can't pronounce that name. And you'll never guess what this person, I can't pronounce the name, is famous for. This person is transgender and owns the Miss Universe, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA beauty pageants. Yeah, I remember that. I, mean, I think I actually did a video on it. Because the person that actually owns all these is actually a male identifying as a woman. So maybe, just maybe, man, the fits may actually be in for the Miss Universe pageant. There seems to be no credibility. Maybe the fits will actually be in because I believe that there's an actual agenda behind this whole thing. Women, you're going to have to fight back. But in the case of uh, Miss, Miss uh, Universe, it's owned by one of these transgenders. So I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Miss Universe. When was the last time it was even relevant? I really don't have any idea. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.